Seattle, Washington. A city as diverse as the people who live here. And like any sprawling metropolis, when the sun goes down, the specter of crime rises up. When fear grips the citizens of Emerald City, where do the innocent turn for help? He calls himself Phoenix Jones. To some, he's a protector to be hailed. A blessing to this country. To others, a danger to be mocked. And to the police, he's, well, let's just say it's complicated. But the mystery remains. Who is this real-life superhero? I'm Phoenix Jones. I'm Elsa Ben Fodor. You know, I'm just like uh, everyone else. The only difference is that um, I decided to make a difference and stop crime in my neighborhood in my area. I intend to keep making that difference. Ben Fodor, mixed martial arts fighter. A dominating amateur on the edge of turning pro. I think I easily could have been a UFC champion back in the day if I had just kept going. It just other things were more important. Finish him! Ben could have made it to the bigs, the NFL of MMA, which is the UFC. I poured, you know, three or four years into him. Throws it all the way to go run around and protect Capitol Hill. What could possibly turn an up-and-coming MMA fighter into a real-life superhero? And why did he give away his secret identity? It was an especially dark night. The kind that puts a twisted smile on the faces of criminals hiding in the long shadows. Ben Fodor mild-mannered local resident is returning to his car with his young son in tow. I realized my window's been broken, and glass has been smashed on the ground out in front of the car, and he's cut himself on it. So I pick my son up, and he just starts gushing blood from his leg. I didn't know how to tell my son that it was going to be safe next time we went out. And this wouldn't happen again if I personally couldn't tell him I did something about it. What makes a hero? Courage, resolve, and a passion for justice. What makes a superhero? All of the above, plus a totally awesome rubber suit. Now armed with a superhero name, a bulletproof costume, and a pretty big can of pepper spray, Phoenix Jones takes to the streets leaving his MMA gloves and his career behind him. Pretty soon, Phoenix Jones inspires other Seattle crime fighters to grab a costume and suit up. And the Rain City superheroes are born. They share Fodor's passion for justice, even if they don't share his MMA workout regimen. A typical night on a patrol, we'll encounter uh, inebriated individuals that sometimes need help getting home. You're good, you're good. Yeah, we'll have you help, we'll have you come over. We right administer basic first aid for people that have fallen. Get up, get up. We've encountered knives, we've encountered guns. The threats are real, and you have to be careful. Get up, get up. Break it up! Break it up! Break it up. It's not something that we sanction as a department. It's not something that we uh, authorize in any way, shape, or form. This is Seattle, and Seattle's a very unique city. What I'd say to Phoenix Jones is, hey, you're doing a pretty good thing. You okay, brother? But there is a line. Don't cross it. October 2011. Phoenix Jones comes upon a fight. Waste no time jumping in to save the day. Well, <laughs> Sort of. I see this dude get punched in the face, fall down, and another dude's soccer kicking. So I start running down the street screaming, call 911. We break the fight up. One guy's getting kicked, so I spray a guy in the face. 
That guy's girlfriend gets crazy, takes her shoe off, and starts beating me over the head. Ironically, Phoenix Jones is arrested for aggressive use of pepper spray. Unless he hangs up his costume, the DA threatens to reveal his secret identity. Our hero beats him to the punch, and Phoenix Jones is unmasked by none other than... I'm Phoenix Jones. ...himself. Seattle self-proclaimed superhero Phoenix Jones revealed his identity to the world today. Yeah. Phoenix is really Ben Foda, a mixed martial arts fighter. It was the worst day ever because I felt like I had made this danger on my family, and it was the best day ever because I realized what I was doing was the right thing.